So on this first video, I will first show you how to download a specific folder from a GitHub repository and then how to prepare training data for supervised classification in ArcMap using the tool called image classification and then how to export the training data for training neural networks in Python and then finally how to conduct a maximum likelihood classification in ArcMap. Today I will show you first how to download a specific folder from GitHub repository. So just navigate to a GitHub repository and to a specific folder. So this is a specific folder. Copy its link and then navigate to download dash directory dot github dot io and paste your link here. Hit enter. It will start zipping all the file and you can download it. All right. So now I will show you how to use ArcMap to prepare training data for land use land cover classification from a satellite image. So just go to this GitHub repo and go down to find this link that says click here to download satellite image. Simply click there and download the satellite image from this Google Drive. Now I, I have already downloaded this satellite image and unzip that and put it here. So let me open this image in ArcMap. So I'll just drag and drop the image here. And we will need image classification tool for preparing the training data. So if you don't have this tool available, just right click here and uh, check this. It will open the tool. And also if this tool is not activated, you can go to customize, extension, spatial analyst, and it will activate the tool. So now start providing training samples. So just click here to draw a polygon. You could also draw a rectangle or a circle depending upon the need. Just click to the polygon here, draw a polygon. We start with water. This is one training example, another training example. Just try to cover different forms of water. Uh, now we might have to delete that. So. To delete one training example, go to this training sample manager. All right, this one I need to delete. So just click that and hit delete. All right, and now we can continue. This is also water and try to cover as many different types of water as possible because we, all, we want all type of water to be in one class. And also these small river things, they have different type of water, provide enough training example of this type of water as well. All right, uh, I'm not going to repeat um, that much, but you can provide more training example and more precise training examples for better accuracy. So let's open the training sample manager. Uh, and we have to combine all of these to a single class. To do that, just click on the first one, uh, hit shift, click on the last one, and merge training samples. Rename it to water similarly we could now provide second class so let's say this forest like class we want a training example okay so this one we need to delete all right so just draw again and try to cover different type of forest and from different parts all right and once you are satisfied with the distribution and the amount of training examples, you can repeat the same process. So just combine all of these to a class called forest. Now, if you wanted to add more training examples, for example, to water, you could also do that. Simply draw polygons and combine those new polygons with class water. Uh, this class control click 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 combine water already so make sure these numbers changes sequentially from one two three four um, and now if we are satisfied with our training examples we can save them to save just click here it will save the training examples or uh, you can save this with this name as well now 
I have already saved the training examples as a save file. I can load them. Uh, so I don't need these training examples. I'll simply clear them and load the training example, training samples downloaded from the GitHub repository. So these are the training sample. Uh, and you can see they are quite well distributed. There is a lot big missing patch here, but uh, otherwise they are well distributed. And this shows the count of uh, examples for each class and try to make it proportional to their actual area. So here, most of the areas should be, so here it seems water is the dominant class, but uh, you should make it proportional to the area you expect. So here, the agriculture class should have the highest, sand should have the lowest, that kind of proportional thing. So uh, now we are satisfied with our training examples. We saw how to save them. We saw how to load them. Now to create a signature file, simply click here. It is needed for running different type of class supervised classification within ArcMap. We will use this to run maximum likelihood classification. So just click here and save it somewhere. Okay, I'll just simply delete the existing one and save it here on my desktop. All right, now we have saved that. I would like to show you how to prepare training data so that you can train neural network or other machine learning models outside of ArcMap. So simply load the save file of the training examples. And now we would want to convert this to raster. So just open the attribute table. Uh, so this value has the class value that the raster pixel value should represent. So uh, go and search for polygon to raster and open that tool. Input features should be the polygons value field. We just saw that is class value. Output raster data set. So where do you want to save it? So say it's white ring dot tiff. Do not forget dot tiff at the end. And the cell size should be the same as the input image. So this is the input image. Just point it to there. Uh, now two important things. Uh, in environment variable, you would like to set the processing extent. Uh, the extent is same as that of the input satellite image. And the snap raster also set that to the input satellite image. By doing that, you will ensure the size, number of rows and number of column of the output image and the extent will be same as that of the input satellite image. All right, now simply run OK. It will convert the satellite image. Uh, sorry, it will convert the polygons to raster. Let's see. Uh, this original image has this many rows and columns. Now let's see how, how is that for white and also has that same extent. We could uh, change its symbology here to display no data as some color, for example, this one, so that we could visually inspect if they are overlapping or not. As you can see, they are overlapping. They are exactly the same. All right, now we have prepared the training data, both for supervised classification within ArcMap and for any kind of machine learning outside ArcMap. Uh, we can, I will show you later how to, to use this data for training a neural network using TensorFlow in Python. Uh, but now I'm going to show you how to uh, run maximum likelihood classification within ArcMap. So to run maximum likelihood classification, just go here and find the maximum likelihood classification tool or that tool can also be found from search. The input raster band, it will be the satellite image. Input signature file will be the signature file we saved. This one. Um, and the output classified, let's keep it somewhere. Say max like dot tiff. All right, and uh, just hit OK to run it. Uh, that was quick. Now we can change its symbology. Say the one is water, two is, two is sand, maybe like this, three, forest, green of course, four, uh, grass, so something like this, five is agriculture, hello, Six is built up, something like this. All right, so this is the result of 
classification using maximum likelihood classification uh, right in the next video i will show you how to use this data to train a neural network using tensorflow in python see you then